Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what prime and composite numbers are. And up top, we have the definitions of each. And then below at the bottom, we have six different examples or problems that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now for numbers one, two, and three, we're just going to determine if those are prime or composite. And then for number, numbers four, five, and six, we're going to pick out which ones are prime out of the list of four. Um, and number four, there is going to be one prime number out of the four. In number five, there's uh, one number out of the four. In number six, there are going to be two prime numbers out of the four. So let's go into our definitions here and then go through our examples. So a prime number is a whole number with only two factors, one and itself. And we'll see what that means here in a second. And a composite number means that there are factors other than one and itself. And again, we'll figure out what that means here in a second. So number one, we have a six. We need to determine if that's prime or composite. So let's think of all the factors of six. Which numbers can we multiply together to equal six? So I know that I can do one and six to equal six, right? One times six or six times one. Any other numbers that can go into six? Well, I know two and three as well. So this, the six has factors other than one in itself. We have a two and a three here as well. So it's automatically composite. A prime number will only have one and itself as the factors. Number two, 24. Well, we know one and 24, and 24 actually has a lot of factors or numbers that can multiply to get 24. So we know two and 12 can multiply to get 24, three and eight, and four and six. So we have a lot of different factors there for 24. So this one is easily composite. Number three, seven. So let's think of the factors of seven. Which, which multiplication facts or numbers can we multiply together to give us seven? And actually it's only one and seven. One times seven or seven times one. So this only has two factors, one and itself. So seven is prime. Number four, let's go through all four choices and find the prime number. So 18, well, this is even, and we automatically know that two can go into all even numbers. So all even numbers, except for one special one, are going to be composite. So 18 is composite. I'll put a C here. Because we know 1 times 18, um, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. So we have a lot of different factors there. So composite. 9, well, 1 times 9 is 9. And we can also do 3 times 3. So we have three factors for 9. And that means it's composite because it's more than 1 and itself. Now, a common misconception when people start looking at prime and composite numbers for the first time are thinking that all evens are composite and then all odds are automatically prime, which isn't true. Odd numbers can be composite, just like this nine here. Four, well, one and four, and then also two, two times two, right? So four is composite. And then the last one, this is going to be our prime number. The only numbers, only factors of 13 are 1 and 13. So 13 is our prime number there. Let's take a look at number 5. 15, again, don't just think because it's odd that it's going to be a prime number. 1 and 15, 
Also, 3 and 5 are factors. 5 times 3 or 3 times 5 equals 15. So 15 is composite. Now 5, on the other hand, the only factors of 5 are 1 and 5. So 5 is prime. 18, composite. 33 almost seems like it would be prime. Uh, 1 and 33, but we can divide 33 by 3 and get 11. Or think of our multiplication facts, 3 times 11 equals 33. So 33 is composite. And number 6, we have two prime numbers here. Um, the first one being this 29. The only factors of 29 are 1 and 29. So we have a prime number here. 34 is even, so we know that it's going to have more than just 1 and itself. So we have 1, 34, 2, and 17. So 34 is composite. Next we have 2, which is kind of a special number here because it's the only even number that's prime. 2 only has two factors, one and itself, one and two. So again, two, the only even number that is actually prime. Then we have 21. Well, let's think, we have one and 21, and then also three and seven as factors. So 21 is composite. So there you have it. There's the prime and composite number video. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.